I showed this transformer from a 70 kilovolt X-ray system in my high voltage transformers video and one of the commenters asked if I could show the inverter and other stuff that actually comes with a X-ray system like this. Now this is known as an X-ray generator but it's not a X-ray generator in itself but that is the official name of the whole power supply to the X-ray head. We had the transformer itself sits in an oil filled uh, canister here. We have a inverter. Then I have here uh, some parts from inside a high voltage um, tank like this. So we can look at what parts are actually inside this. And I also have a uh, certified high voltage cable that fits into the plugs here. So this is actually what makes up the whole system. Starting with the inverter, we can remove the top lid here. At first uh, we see a full bridge here of BSM 400 bricks from uh, OIPAC. So this is a pretty sturdy uh, machine. I do also think this was rated at something like 70 kilowatt or 100 kilowatt. It actually had two of these inverters that would either run uh, yeah, one on, one off and switch around if it heated up or just run alternating or run in parallel. I actually do not know how that was configured. But we have um, some electrolytic capacitors for the DC bus capacitance. There is five or four times 3300 microfarads. And as we can see on the bus bar layout, we only have bleeding resistors sitting on one side of the DC bus here. The whole thing is mounted on a cooling tunnel that's actually supplied directly from OIPAC, which says Modul Baugruppe. Um, and I think this came from a Siemens system, which also explains uh, a lot of the selected parts and that everything is written in German. Besides that, uh, the heat, heat tunnel here, or heat sink, has a earth wire two fans, has a temperature switch sitting uh, down into the end of the heatsink there. The two black wires going out here is the DC supply that comes from the side over here. Now the output from this bridge actually just goes through a, yeah, two cables, normal uh, wires, 90 degree machine tool wire, we can see here it's oh, 105 degree, 600 volts, 5 AVG, AVG wire. And before going out here to the uh, X-ray head, they actually sit in series with two film capacitors, which were these uh, Arcotronics MKP 8 microfarad. And this is because the um, tank itself uh, is driven as a uh, LC circuit, but it's driven out of resonance. And the way you adjust the power level or the um, voltage output is actually to adjust the frequency at which this bridge is driven. So you drive the X-ray transformer more, more or less um, up against its resonant frequency, and by that you have a higher output. The three-phased input to the inverter comes in on these three terminals, go through the common mode noise to ground filter here, goes out at the bottom into a three-phased rectifier bridge sitting down here. From here the DC plus and minus goes up through a inductor before going into the inverter itself. Now before the um, or across the filter here as well is a uh, three times one point 32 millihenry filter as well. Now the plugs sitting here on the high voltage part, I think these are called Federal Standard Connector. At least this is what it was named with on the General Electric transformer that I also showed in the high voltage transformer video. Now the uh, standard is just, it has three brass connectors sitting there. Uh, a very long insulating part here. The cable does not reveal much other than it's Loca Flex, the manufacturer of the cable. And it has a small nut here, 
fits there and you simply slide it down there and it's a nice fit. Then there is some rings and such you add around here, which we can see over here from the other parts. Now I'm sh making sure to wear gloves because this is some oily and nasty stuff. But there is different uh, rings here that you use to tighten down and keep the plug in place along with some yeah, different protective shrouds as well. It says 75 kilovolt peak on this one. And you can see some plugs are connected different or constructed differently with a uh, metallic shroud that you can press fit down against, but it's the same three pins that we see down at the bottom here. If we take a look at what the cable looks like, we can see it's a, a orange silicone um, insulation material with a black wire and just raw copper in the middle and then it's shielded on the outside. The plug on the inside of the transformer just looks like this, has uh, three connections sitting close together and actually has a resistor uh, mounted here between two of them. So I'm not sure if they, it does some kind of identification um, between the pins, that the plug itself also has something inside of it, that I do not know. The tank voltage that you get out of, out of this is of course kilovolt DC, and it does so because it has some internal rectifiers. This is a rectifier mounting board, and we can see here it takes one, two, three, four arrays of uh, diodes. And that is, for example, diode arrays like this. Nice uh, high voltage array. Does not have any uh, specified voltage marking on it, but that simply connects into these large fuse holders here. And that's, of course, all submerged in oil, so insulation is not a matter. So this is a 100 kilowatt peak, 70 kilovolt DC X-ray generator, complete um, complete unit. So I hope this gave some uh, insight into how this works, how it's driven, and what part that makes up this whole high voltage part. So until next time, see ya.